Collingwood fan. I don't know if we've, have we got any Collingwood fans in the room. Praise God. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got a real look at that. Um, but a Collingwood fan, or a fan of any other team, <coughs> Collingwood fans are the most relevant now because they just won the Premiership, right? Um, I won't act like the, an expert, but those people might have been unbearable on that day if you supported the Lions or any other team. And those people might be unbearable every single day because they're called no, I'm joking. Um, but that's a, that's, a, that's a tiny little thing, which team they support. We're still meant to make peace with them. I spoke, last time I spoke from here, I talked about loving everyone. And that comes into this. It's about the people that with, with different beliefs, the people that don't eat meat because they believe that God's not wanting them to. We're still meant to make peace with them and love them and not judge them for that. How about the most relevant thing? Yesterday, uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I, I don't feel qualified to comment on this because I wasn't literally qualified to vote. Um, because I'm not a citizen of this country, but all citizens of this country were mandated to vote yesterday in the yes, no referendum on the voice. Um, and as far as we know now, it's gone through as a no, and I don't know how everyone in this church would feel about it, but if there's people in this church, or people in general, that voted opposite to how you did, are you suddenly not meant to have peace with them? <laughs> If you voted no, and you go out and meet a yes voter, and they're saying, oh, I'm so devastated it didn't go through. How can you make peace with them? This is a, it's a difficult one societally right now, because this whole thing is about the vision. But we have to make peace with those people, and we have to not judge those, those people for something so, so trivial um, like, like that. Then comes into it the actual notion of peace. Verse 17 says, For the kingdom of God isn't a matter of eating and drinking. It's not about these little things. It's of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. If you think back to Romans 12, which I spoke about when we did Romans 12, three, was that three, I don't know, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Um, that that's the kind of where we're basing a lot of this whole term on is the second half of Romans 12 and one of those verses is verse 18 it says if possible so far as it depends on you I love how he gives those conditions live peaceably with all all means those, that, those people that don't eat meat for example or those people that have slightly different beliefs than you 